he was a multi-instrumentalist, multi but on this specific session, uh, 21 years ago, I hired him to do a chromatic harmonica track. He was a master a musician. And um, anyway, he went to Santa Barbara, where I, I live, and he cut the song, he, he recorded the song. And after the session, and, and this is kind of like a weird thing, you may think, you know, because I, have the, I just met the gentleman, you know, never met him before. I just heard him, you know, we worked for maybe an hour and a half, two hours on the song. And at the end of the session, I went and talked to him. And I told him that I will never do a record under my name in the US without his presence. I thought that he was like the perfect um, voice for my compositions. Just his uh, sense of, you know, his, his humanity, his musicianship, his sound, his sense of, of improvisation, his choice of notes, and a great person too, you know? And I'm happy to say that I, um, that I kept my word. Uh, and he was part of my recordings, all in the US, up until the last one, until the Voss CD that we're playing right now. Uh, unfortunately, we lost him a couple of months ago, uh, so I would like to dedicate this tune to him. Uh, his name was Ron Kalina. If you ever get a chance to listen to him, his recordings, Mr. Ron Kalina, and I would like to dedicate this next tune called Amaryllis. By the way, uh, there was another gentleman during that recording. I never told him the same thing, but he's been on my recordings ever since as well. Mr. Jonathan Dane. Yes. <laughs> I hope I live to see the next one. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. <laughs> 